Hey, good morning. It's day 141 of Walk with Winston, and I hope that you're having a really great day wherever you are. I'm coming off a three-day Sabbath, and that was so restorative to me and so helpful that I, it gave me an opportunity to reset and reevaluate uh, my progress on some of the goals that I have really been seeking over the last six months. And it was such a, one of the biggest eye-opening things that I discovered in reflecting back on six months and actually on those biggest growth spurts in my life was a contrary, what I believe is going to be a very contrary point of view, which is that failure is your only option to growth. Let me explain. Um, one of the tasks my mentor gave me this weekend was going into the Sabbath weekend was to come up with a list of ideas or goals that I would absolutely be comfortable failing at to set them almost at an impossible level but you know that are just so far out there but at the same time I would feel a great sense of achievement having gone for those goals. And even if I come up short, I'm so much further ahead of where I would have been otherwise. And as I set those goals, one of the things that came to my mind several times was, am I really, are these goals really impossible? Are they, are they, are, you know, are they impossible or are they, um, so far out there that I don't want to try and none of the goals really met that second criteria I want to try and and go after all these goals and I know at the end of the day I will be so much further along having been through the process you know the Bible talks uses the term or the phrase or the concept of fear not 365 times that's one for every day of the calendar year and I think God is so emphatic about saying that in the Bible so many times because he knows that we're afraid, that we're, you know, that we, we crave security and certainty. And yet, faith is a belief in the unseen. Faith is something that is, uh, you know, it doesn't require faith if we have it already. And so, So many people are afraid to fail. And in doing that, we never get away from the shore. We never get away from uh, the safety and security of the known. And we live small and sometimes mediocre lives. I know you're a high achiever. You, you've been with me on this journey now for over 200 calendar days, 141 walks together and we don't settle so I'll give you a tangible example from my own life about a huge failure that turned out to be a major blessing um, at the end of my first career I got a little too big for my britches <laughs> in my role and I had to become humbled and had to restart a second career because I just I needed a change and the people that saw me knew I needed a change and I was totally devastated I had sunk 18 years into that career and had made quite a name for myself in the industry and that failure was the catalyst six weeks later for a completely different career something I could have never imagined or considered prior to that. And I bet if we look back at our lives, we can see failures, colossal big failures that were a major catalyst to our growth and transformation. So my encouragement today is, I'm not asking you to go out there and massively fail, but I am asking you to consider creating your own list of fails things that you're willing to take on for the next 12 months and are so big and impossible that if you make it it would be amazing 
but if you miss it, you're so much further ahead than you would have been. And by doing so, you're going to grow exponentially more than you would have any other way. If you're willing to take on that list, comment below. I'd love to support you and talk to you about what your amazing fails are going to be. Failure is your only option if you're going to grow. I believe that, and we're going to prove it to be true. With that, you guys have a great day.